Hello, I'm Jay Hortonberry with Freemasonry Facts, and today I'd like to show you the Dugar and Sign of a Fellowcraft. The Dugar and Sign of a Fellowcraft. The Dugar, again, alludes to the position of the hands the candidate has placed them when they're taking their oath at the altar before becoming a fellowcraft. The right hand resting on the Bible, the left arm is forming a right angle, a square, and it's also supported by a square um, by one of the uh, officers of the lodge. They're actually physically holding a square there, holding, holding your arm in that position as you take your oath. The sign of a fellow craft is the right hand cupped over the left breast, Drop down like that, and it's to indicate your left breast being torn open and your heart given to the beast of the field. Um, and it's a reminder of the oath that you've taken, of the penalties thereof, so that um, you won't forget the penalty, basically. And that is the sign and, or I'm sorry, the Dugar and sign of a fellow craft. Check out my other videos where I show you the Dugar and sign of an errant apprentice and the Dew Garden sign of a Master Mason. If you have any questions, put them in the uh, comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. Check out my Facebook page, Freemasonry Facts. You can also check out my, web, uh, my uh, website at Freemasonry Facts. And um, thanks for watching.